On the CaliforniaGarageEast.com website, they refer to the term Garage East in this fashion. Garage East, noun, French, a term originally used in the Bordeaux region of France to denigrate renegade small lot winemakers, sometimes working in their garage, who refuse to follow the rules. Now, a full-fledged movement responsible for making some of the best wines in the world. Who's laughing now, Francois? Synonyms. Rule breakers. Pioneers. Renegades. Mavericks. Driven by passion. The website also puts it right up front that there are no black ties or snobs allowed. On the serious side, the Garage East Festival is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose proceeds benefit the Cal Poly Wine and Viticulture Program. The 8th annual Garage East Festival was held over three days starting Friday night. A number of tickets were sold, which included a paella dinner provided by J. Carson Catering and a rare and reserved tastings by 29 different wineries. Saturday, over 60 wineries provided tastings, many pouring between three to six different wines. For those guests who bought the weekend passes, Saturday also included a seminar on Spanish grapes in California with winemaker panelists Luisa Sawyer Lindquist from Verdad Wines, Enrique Torres from Diablo Paso, and Jeremy Leffert from Cromavera. Wines were served as the panelists spoke through the tasting. Attendees were able to ask questions and interact with the panel. Lunch was served by Love, Joy, Eat. After the main event on Saturday, weekend pass holders were also treated to an after party where wines flowed and Stephen Rowe and the Lonely Loners played into the night. On Sunday, many of the wineries offered special deals for those who attended the previous day's events. One of the best outcomes of attending a Garage East Wine Festival is connecting with the artisanal winemaker who makes wine that they like. You won't find big production winemakers here. The Garage Easts here produce less than 1,500 cases per year. Most of the Garage Easts produce significantly less. We were able to sample from over 30 varietals. It is difficult to point to another venue that offers a span of this many varietals in one place. Odds are that once you attend one of these festivals, you will have another wine style or a varietal that you've never tried before. You will likely run into winemakers you have never heard of before due to their size and limited production. Winemakers, owners, and cellar rats were available to speak to. We learned about winemaking techniques, soils, weather, stories, and even some secrets. In the end, we found some wineries and winemakers that will be on our list to visit and order from. Now we'd like to offer a couple of tips if you plan on attending an event like this. First, review the wine list ahead of time and plan on what you really want to try. Make a list of those and go there first. After a while, you may get palate fatigue and lose the ability to really taste and smell effectively. Second, spit. It's okay to spit in a cup or in the buckets provided for this. If you don't, you may find yourself not only having palate fatigue, you may end up dancing on a table. Third, eat a good meal before you start tasting. During the event, eat the snacks provided. Then wear comfortable clothes and shoes. Don't forget to bring a pen to make some notes in your program. And if possible, Go to all of the events. Get a weekend pass. For goodness sakes, it's a benefit program for Cal Poly. And have a good time. After all, it is wine. To 
find out more about the Garage Yeasts and future festivals, check out www.californiagaragests.com. I like this one. I like her.